Hello and welcome back. Uh, now we are going to create our uh, our web application. So let's go to new, other, and let's go to web. And uh, we'll create a dynamic web project. And we will give it a name, ebook shop. And we're using the wizard here. Uh, after we've done that, we'll click next. Please do that. Do not click finish. Then we'll click uh, again next. Now make sure you, you select generate web XML deployment descriptor. This is our DD. And uh, once you've done that, click finish. And as you can see on the project explorer, the project has been created. Now I'm going to show my navigator. So go to show view and navigator. And this is a different view of our project on the navigator. And you can see all the relevant uh, folders have been created. And uh, you can see here that all the jar files and uh, have been added by uh, Eclipse and all the dependencies. Otherwise, we have to do it ourselves. If it wasn't, uh, if we haven't used the wizard. Uh, now let's go to Tomcat and deploy our project. So uh, add project and say finish. After we click finish, now we are going to start Tomcat. So let's click start, and Tomcat is starting. And here you go, our ebook shop has been deployed on the Tomcat. Uh, next thing we are going to do is to drill into the remote system view. And this is a snapshot of our hard disk. We'll go to Tomcat uh, folder and uh, we drill in and uh, you will find that our bookshop, our bookshop uh, is, is uh, deployed and all uh, the directories have been created. Uh, notice that our descriptor, uh, our DD is there. Now, uh, next, what we are going to do is create a, an HTML page. Um, so we go to, um, to new, other, go down to our web again, select HTML file, next, give it a name, and it'll be query book.html next then it says in html5 finish now we are going to change uh, the font size in our editor so it's more uh, it's uh, it's uh, slightly bigger go to general and go on the basic on the basic find text editor or oh, sorry text font edit Select the font size you like, and click Apply. After that, uh, uh, what we're going to do now is also do the Java editor one as well. So I'm going to go back, and under the Java, fo uh, Java folder, I will find uh, the editor and change the size as well. And say Apply, OK. And as you, as you can see, the font is now slightly bigger. So now, <coughs> let's double-click uh, Eclipse. Uh, sorry, Tomcat. And as you can see here, uh, publishing is set to automatically publish. And what this means, if you look under on the Tomcat, uh, in the hard drive, on the Tomcat, uh, you will see that uh, our query book HTML has been autom automatically published. And I don't like that, so I'm going to change that to never publish automatically. Save the configuration, close the, close the, uh, close the tab, and we have to restart uh, the server for the configuration to take effect. Once we've done that, now we're going to add our form to, uh, to the HTML page. And I have that in a, in a notepad. I've uploaded that to Udemy. So you can, you are more than welcome to use it. So we'll copy that, go back to Eclipse, paste that in our HTML page, 
and now we will save our file Control S will do or just do it from the menu once we've done that now we have to publish uh, the file manually since we have disabled auto publishing notice in, the, in our form when we click the submit we are firing up a query uh, servlet or, of course we haven't written that yet and uh, that will be done in the next tutorial now let's republish uh, the HTML page so so we republish the project publish again all the changes to take effect now we will run our HTML page and uh, let's right click and uh, run on server now here make sure you tick always use this server when running this project so we're not prompted every time we run the project now the form is up and running and as you can see in the URL we have the query book HTML showing now we will tick all the selection here in our form three names then when we click search that will submit the form and obviously and as expected we'll get an error because the query servlet hasn't been written yet but I like you to note that uh, the field have been appended to the URL because this is a get and not a post as we discussed earlier uh, in previous videos now in the next tutorial we'll be writing the query servlet so please do join me on the next uh, video bye for now